Hello everybody and welcome to today's live. I think only a fraction of a minute late from what I normally am. So, <laughs> so sending you lots and lots of love. I hope everyone is amazing today. Wow, so many people already um, in the live. So let's start with some hellos and all of that good stuff. Um, how's everyone's week been? How's everyone doing? Want to know all the gossip and everything. Of course, any new skincare you're trying. All of that good stuff. At this end, it's been a little bit of a busy week. I say that every week. Like, I guess just every week is a little bit busy at the moment. So it's so nice to just sit down and chat with you guys on uh, Saturday. I've got two cats with me. I've got Leo on the cat tree. Marcel is somewhere lurking on the sofa somewhere. As you can see about all the cat toys here. So do expect a cat invasion at some point today. <laughs> we'll do a quick, let's do a quick um, look and see um, who's here. So Christina, welcome, my love. Um, Patty, welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you're not very well, Patty. I'm sending you lots and lots of love get well soon and honestly we're all here for you so you know turn that volume right down close your eyes and just listen in we're so glad to have you here Annika welcome Melenthia so good to see you Rita wonderful Mercedes Marlene is in the house very kindly Marlene is moderating today's live um so honestly so so much love to Marlene for doing that Tom is off enjoying himself at Niagara Falls and having a whale of a time in the country so Sending lots and lots of love to Tom for when he watches this on replay and love to anyone watching on the replay squad. But thank you to Marlene for um, supporting with this and doing all that good moderation stuff. Valerie, welcome. Um, and Valerie says she only recently saw this, uh, found this channel, so super excited to be part of the live. Valerie, it is wonderful, wonderful to have you here. For those of you that are new, sending you lots of love. And we do this every week. So on a Saturday, usually 6 p.m. UK time, which is... Um, 7 p.m. European time, 1 p.m. Um, East Coast time. We sit down, we talk about all things skincare, um, we talk about the good stuff we've done in the week, fangirl about new products. It's really just a really chill time for us um, to spend together. We don't necessarily have to do anything um, you know, anything super excited or too serious. It's just a great opportunity for us to all chill and enjoy some skincare together. Now, I've tried so hard with the internet this week. If you remember last week, we had a whole host of internet issues. So this week, I'm trying to sort out the internet, tethering on my phone. So fingers crossed to the internet gods that we are all good. Tamsin, welcome, my love. Chris, so wonderful to see you. Kathy, first live for Kathy. So sending you huge, huge amounts of love. And thank you so, so much for all the love and support on the channel. Um, Stephen, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, in time today, Stephen. We, we love, love, love a timely subscriber. <laughs> so saying to everyone, um, saying a big uh, morning and afternoon to everyone from Roundtable Pizza. We love that. We love a shout out. Anyone else that wants to throw in a shout out, as usual, I've got cat hair stuck to me. That's courtesy of my cat. Marcel, we're going to style that out, but sending lots of love, Stephen, and yeah, anybody that fancies a shout out, include one in the questions. How these work is I go through from top to bottom um, with any questions that you guys have. Um, I do answer them all in the order that they come in, just to make sure it's fair and that, you know, I don't show preference to anybody or anything. So if you have asked your question, I will get around to it, I promise. Um, if you just stick to answering the que asking the question um, once, because we repeat, repeat questions to sort of make it really challenging to read through. So so just ask the question once and I will get around to you. If for whatever reason you have to duck out before your answer, just drop it in the comment section below. After these lives, I go through all the comments and I answer them all individually. So drop them in the comment section if I don't get around to you. That's the housekeeping out of the way. I think that's all the housekeeping out of the way. So Emily comes in with um, some, oh, a little bit of a life update. So Emily says, I'm packing to go camping tomorrow and taking a break from hanging out here. Uh, the square lane cleanser is now a must for my camping trips. Gets rid of SPF and grime so well. I love that. When I go camping, I say that like I've ever been camping. When I go on holiday, let's just, <laughs> I've, ne I've never been camping. I wouldn't ne I wouldn't be able to pitch a tent for my life. But when I go on holiday, I do like to pack inexpensive like cleansers and stuff because I can throw them in like the sealed bags. Um, I use like the sandwich bags still in case they leak. And then I don't mind if they get bashed around or they leak a bit because like, ah, it's not that expensive. I haven't spent too much. And that's why I always, always use a square lane cleanser just like you when I throw it. It does what it needs to do. You could throw it in a sealed bag. If you get a bit of leakage, no. Nobody cares, and it's all good. So yes, totally, totally agree, my love. Benita, welcome, welcome. Danny is in the house. Welcome, welcome, Danny. Great to see you. Um, Elizabeth, um, so, oh, 
She says she did have a question, but at 3 a.m. I can't remember what it was. Elizabeth, my love, I don't blame you. At 6 p.m. I can't remember what's going on here. So I did just wake up for a really, really good nap. So I'm going to throw that out there. That might be why. Um, but I'm sending you so, so much love, Elizabeth. And thank you so, so much for joining us, even though it is crazy early over in Australia. If that question comes back to you, my love, Drop it down, and I promise, promise, I'll answer it. Um, so yeah, Marlene comes with a timely reminder for the, all the newbies and those people that have been the OG original crew. Um, if you could smash that like button. Our record for a likes on a live is 204. I think we all like to break a record. Let's see if we can do that. But speaking, so click the like button. And if you minimize the chat um, and then click the like button, the maximize the chat takes you back to where you were. So you don't have to do faffing around. But speaking of records being broken, I did just read on the news that record breaking temperatures in the US, especially on the West Coast. So I'm sending lots and lots of love to anyone that might be sweating it out in California, Nevada, Arizona, all of that you know, area and just stay safe because you know what we all love a bit of hot weather but when it gets that hot it can be dangerous so just sending you lots and lots of love stay cool stay safe and all of that good stuff William welcome 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 sending you lots of love uh, Kristen welcome and I am having a wonderful week thank you and um, I hope you are too what's gone on this week well we're getting one week closer and one week's more nervous um, to the skincare launch I'll do a bit of an update later in the video and um, so that's a little bit every time I look at the calendar I think oh my gosh there's so much to do do. but I think it's all kind of under control so we're all good with that just lots of meetings and bits to do with that and um, had a very very exciting meeting with Decium yesterday so there's going to be a little bit of an update a bit of news I'm not teasing anything and you cannot my lips are sealed but on the 16th there will be some news that you guys are wanting gonna to want to hear and um, so that's quite exciting and um, we had some we had cat related drama poor Leo who is up there on his cat tree he'll probably come down in a minute and um, had an eye infection so he's not feeling very well bless him so when he's saying lots of healing vibes and um, he also really doesn't like having eye drops so it's like four times a day pinning him down he really doesn't like it bless him but I bought him lots of new toys which is what you see here to kind of cheer him up a little bit because we all need we all need a little bit of cheering up in our lives cats included and um, Chan says hello from a rainy Bangkok about to go to another lockdown no restaurants or malls oh no um so I am saying best time think of the positives Jan I know how difficult this is because here in the UK it's just the same in and out of these sort of restrictions all the time so I'm just going to say to you Think of the positives, like you say, lots of time to pamper, lots of time to chill, and just make sure, you know, we're here for you. Stay safe, stay sane, because, you know, it's difficult out there. And to anyone that's having more restrictions or feeling a bit meh, we're here for you. And this is kind of why I started these um, live streams is, you know, with all the lockdowns and restrictions that people were going through, I know a lot of people were just feeling a little bit like isolated, myself included. It was not the best moment. So coming on here and just chatting with you guys for an hour and a half tw uh, once a week, was kind of like my saviour. So Jan, we are sending you lots of love, healthy vibes, and we are here for you, hun. Um, Suzanne, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> she says, dinner and mad about skin. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I can compete with your culinary expertise, Suzanne, but I hope whatever you are eating is divine. Um, Abigail, welcome, welcome. So wonderful to see you, and um, great, great, great to have you here again. Um, we, I love the, the mix that we get here. We get the, what I call the OG crew, those that come to every single live, and I adore you all, and also those that maybe dip in their toes into a live stream for the first time. You're also, also welcome. Like I say, well, every week we do this, so definitely want to see you all again. Reve, welcome, welcome. Dana, great to see you. And Kathy, it's so great to see you. Oh, but it says Hot and Hewitt here on Jersey Shore. That always reminds me of that TV programme, Jersey Shore. But I'm sure, like nothing like it because we've got a program here I think it's like called Made in Chelsea or something it was like the UK version I'm like I'd hate to think that anybody thought that like British people lived their lives like that <laughs> so every time I hear Jersey Shot I think of the same but I'm sure Kathy you are just the peak of class and sophistication and <laughs> um, Chris says can I use the vitamin C and lactic acid together yes Chris you can good question because a lot of people worry about things that exfoliate and using them together Um, I would say if you're using a vitamin C try not to do too much exfoliation so a lactic acid that's hydrating and gentle will work really well together. Keep it to like 10% or lower in terms of concentration and you'll be absolutely fine. Abigail says, hello Rob, is there a difference between using a glycolic pad versus a glycolic serum? Good question, because yes there is. Um, in theory, concentration is the concentration of what you're getting in terms of the, uh, in terms of the active ingredient. 
With glycolic acid pads, often they come with a little bit of um, physical exfoliation built in. So sometimes they have like the crisscross pattern on it. I'm thinking of like the Clearasil pads of years ago, but more up to date versions of that. You might see there's a bit of texture to the pad. Sometimes they come with a smooth and a rough side. If you're using it and using it with um, like a slightly rough or abrasive pad, it will give an extra layer of the exfoliation. That can be quite good because it can kind of get rid of that top layer of stuff. So the exfoliating acid, the ingredient is doing work a little bit more effective, but they can be a little bit harsher. So you've got to weigh up the pros and cons. Something like a really gentle glycolic pad, great. Absolutely think it's fantastic, but just be careful that they're not too rough if you use them. But there is a difference, yeah, you get more effect from a pad, but you need to be a bit more careful of it. William says, Rob, you have not only inspired my skincare journey, but just paid to have a, your hair colour. <laughs> William, I'm flattered. I think that, yeah, they go, people go into the salon and say, I'll, I'll have the Madam Out skin, and they come out with this. <laughs> but I do, do, William, demand to see pictures, my love. I demand to see pictures. Do you remember when we all went in, like when friends was around, and everyone went into the salon and asked for the Rachel? I mean, I didn't, A, because I don't think I'd suit the Rachel, and it was, I was just a little bit, too, I was still going to the barbs and having the back and sides done. But that was iconic. So I'm living for that, William. Loving you lots. Madonna, welcome, my love, saying happy Saturday. Um, the live stream, hope you're well. I am, my love. I'm having a wonderful Saturday. I've got a little hydration. I'm not, I'm not giving away any secrets to what's in here. But it's delicious. It's actually, it is a non-alcoholic beverage. This is, um, it's like um, a gooseberry flavoured, like cordial. So good. So good. Normally I have a cup of tea, but this is quite warm today. It is quite good. Um, Charlotte, welcome, my love. Welcome. Um, and Annika says, I, I love hot and humid. The only time my skin is happy and not dry. Yeah, sometimes the humidity is to people's, I can't. I mean, I am literally like grease slick in humid conditions. It's like my skin most hated weather. But I do know so many people that do like it on the little bit on the humid side, especially if you've got dry skin, it can really help. Um, Veggie, welcome, my love. Aileen, so good to see you, my love. Oh, William says, Rob, can you give the actives in the Mad About Skin Serum? Can you give a percentage. Yes. What percentages are you after? <laughs> I'm going to have to look this up. So the percentages of the uh, vitamin C derivative is 5%. Percentages of the azelaic acid is um, 5%. The concentration of peptides in there is 4%. Um, I don't know what other active percentages you want in particular. Let me know and you can, they're like the four key ones that come in like really, that come in like hand standard size, um, standard percentages. Um, let me know if you want any other percentages and concentrations of things. I can let you know. Um, <laughs> Marlene says she wants dog. She wants dog fish. Um, he's upstairs. He might come down and see us. I promise. <laughs> G says, tell me everything you know about wheat germ oil. Oh, I don't know a whole lot, but I do know it's suitable for acne prone skin, which is a tick in the box um, because not all oils are, but it's also quite hydrating. It's very much on the anti-inflammatory, calming and soothing side. So if you want a uh, oil that has a little bit extra, you know, anti-inflammatory, calming, soothing properties. Wheat germ oil, really good. It's not my go-to because it's quite difficult to find in skincare ingredients, as a skincare ingredient. Um, I prefer rosehip seed oil, but it's definitely a good one to try. Um, I'd say it's moderately hydrating, but suitable for all skin types, as opposed to something like jojoba oil that is super hydrating, but you have to be a bit more careful with matching it to your skin. Amy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Z um, Zaya says, hello from Myanmar. I'm Z Welcome, my love. And first time, I first time viewer to these um, live streams, so sending you so, so much love. And sending lots of love all the way over to Myanmar. C Shine says, hi everyone, so excited about being live here, and so excited about the launch. Thank you, thank you so much. And honestly, thank you so much for um, all your guys' love and support. I am not going to lie, I'm getting a little bit impatient. Like, I, August needs to come, it needs to come now. <laughs> it is getting a little bit impatient because I just want to be able to share everything with you guys. But I was always told patience is a virtue and I'm channeling that as we wait uh, a little bit longer. Hey, Manuel, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Oh, so Manuel says, does everyone like the new short shots from Rob? Okay, so this controversial topic, let's throw this one in. Um, so I've been experimenting with doing shorts, which is like um, short, like one minute long videos on YouTube. I don't want to just do that as content because I think it's a bit of a cop out. When I see content creators doing it, I'm like, that took you a minute to film and you're classing that as a video? No. So we're not doing it as like a replacement to videos. I wanted to do it in conjunction. So where people, today we did one on the Hiram um, cleanser because you guys have been asking me my thoughts and feelings on it as I did 
didn't purchase it. The only thing I purchased from the Hiram Selfless by Hiram launch. Um, so you guys wanted a review. And I was like, well, I don't want to do a 20 minute review on a cleanser, one cleanser, because let's be honest, that would be dragging it out and wouldn't be the most interesting video to everyone. So I did it as a one minute like shot in addition to the regular content that we do. So let me know guys, do you like them? As long as it's in addition. So these aren't replacing the standard longer length videos. And I always say, you know, if you don't like them, you don't need to watch. And if you do watch, it's a minute out of your life. But um, what are you guys, what thoughts, feelings, any ideas of stuff that you want for it? Uh, Jana says, hello from sunny Slovakia. Sending lots and lots of love, Jana. Welcome. Uh, Dana, not to be confused with Jana, <laughs> just uh, followed on with questions. Says, I, I got my first COVID shot today uh, and it's been a good week. Well, I'm so, so pleased you are. Hopefully you get no side effects and you are good to go. Um, sending you so, so much love. Nicole, welcome, welcome. Oh no, you said you had a bad day today. I think I failed my uni exam. But at least my geek and gorgeous order arrived. Uh -huh. I'm sending you so, so much love. I can only imagine how stressed and worried you are. And all I'll say is we always think we do worse than we actually did um, in exams. And whether you passed or failed, I always think you, you did you did your best. And I'm sending you so, so much love. And, you know, Geek and Gorgeous, the a pad and liquid hydration will help. I promise you it will help. But I know, I know how it feels to, you know, not feel confident after exams. So I'm just sending you the world's biggest virtual hug because I think we all need that at some point in our life. And it sounds like you need one today. So sending you lots and lots of love. Aime, welcome. Ari, wonderful to see you. And um, says, hello, how many times do you use the hydroxy acids and retinols in a week? Um, so retinols I use every single day. Um, I love my retinol. It gives me so many great benefits and I use it every single day. You do want to build up to that. I wouldn't use my retinol every day from the start. Build up, but once a day, absolutely fine when you've got used to it. Um, for acid exfoliating acids, I use mine three times a week. I used to do it daily, um, but I found that my skin didn't really need that that much exfoliation. So I'd say it depends on the concentration. A low strength, like a 3% in the beauty of Yoz and Bubble Toner, which is my favorite, that can be used every single day because it's a low strength. A medium strength, you know, a couple, four, five times a week, high strength, three times a week tops. That's kind of how I would how I work out. And high strength is sort of 10% or above, I would say. Um, Benita says, what are your thoughts on urea in skincare? Love it. I absolutely love it. It's a very, it's an unsung hero of the um, moisturizer world. Um, it's great for cracked heels. If you've got cracked heels, a 20% urea treatment, solves it like that. I think because it's a bit old fashioned and it's not sexy, there's no appeal to it, is why you don't see it in a lot of skincare, but Urea is one of my absolute favorites. So definitely, definitely would recommend it. Sean, welcome. Sethi, welcome as well. Suzanne says, hope you and your little furry feather friends are all doing great. The cats are fine, Balio and his eye. Dogs find the chickens, oh, two of them are broody, so very angry, desperately trying to hatch eggs. Two of them are just like, what are you girls doing? Like, I can't understand. It's all, it's a bit frock. <laughs> it's a bit fractious at the moment, but they'll all calm down soon. Uh, but the question is, what is your favorite calming ingredient? Centella, Panthenol? Ooh, I'm a big fan. I'm not a huge Centella fan. I, I like it, it's fine, but I think it's maybe overdone. People over rely on it and say how amazing it is. Because my favorite are Panthenol and Allantonin. Both of those are my favorite calming and soothing ingredients. I also love Azelaic Acid, which whilst it's not strictly a calming and soothing, I find that my skin is calmer when I'm using it on a regular basis. So yeah, any of those three would like be my ride or die favorites. Christina, welcome, my love. Uh, my, let me get my words out. Mary Thonny, I think I pronounced your name right, from Canada. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. Um, thoughts on the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner? I'm not a huge Laneige fan. I know that's controversial because they're super hyped and everybody loves them. I'm just not a huge fan. And I feel bad for saying that because I know so many people love them. And I would always say, use what works for you. If it works for you, keep using it. I just find all of their products to be a little bit overly fragranced, even like the ones that don't have that heavy fragrance, find it a little bit too much for me. And they're a little bit overpriced, personally. Though I haven't actually tried this cream skin refiner yet. So I don't want to speak specifically on that product, but Laneige is a bit of a mm, brand for me. But I'd love to know if anyone wants to feel free. We're all open to um, critiques. So leave me a comment below if you love Laneige and you've tried that cream skin refiner. Now I'm going to have a quick sip of my um, water just to keep everything hydrated. Hopefully you guys have got a drink on the go your end. While we do that, we are already at 80 likes, which is like, I think we're on track to beat our record of just over 200. So let's keep that like train going. So if you haven't already, click the like button and you can minimize the um, chat, click the like button and then maximize the chat again and it'll take you back to wherever you were so you don't have to mess around trying to find your place again. That cordial, so good. Um, Chi, what's the best routine for a 65 year old woman? Oh, well, 
I would say often as we get slightly um, older, as our skin profile ages, um, sometimes our skin tends to get drier. Um, so I'm going to assume that your skin is slightly drier, um, but still vivacious, gorgeous, and you're looking for maybe tackling a few fine lines and wrinkles, but that's kind of what, it's what's saying for 65, but I would say our skin can be totally different at whatever age. Um, so for me, I would get a peptide in your routine. Definitely get a really nice peptide. Copper peptides are the best, but if you can't push like a four the copper peptide prices because they are expensive any peptide will see you right and that'll hydrate and also help plump the skin definitely definitely would recommend a retinol to get that um, cellular turnover going get that skin re-energized that'd be such a great um, option and i just say be careful with your cleansers so often as our skin profile ages we still use the same cleansers that we used in our teens 20s 30s and they can be a little bit drying and a bit stripping so i would definitely go for a really rich balm cleansing balm and get a really nice facial oil to finish your routine forget the moisturizers i'm all about facial oils and something like a tamanu oil or a um, jojoba oil i'll just nourish and uh, honestly your skin will feel so so good after it rich s says hi first time thank you so much for joining rich so good to see you um, and i'm so glad you could join the live stream i love your content thank you i'm still working through all your videos since i subscribed well thank you so, so there's a lot of videos out there um, a lot of videos i'd ignore the early ones they're not that great <laughs> But thank you so, so much for taking the time to join us today. It's wonderful to have you. And, you know, for subscribing to for everybody, we, cr we crossed 47,000 subscribers this week, which is like mind blown. So to every single person that subscribed, honestly, your support means so much to me. So thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed... Why not? Click the subscribe button, join our family. Honestly, we'd love, love, love to have you as part of it. Valerie says, um, you, James, and Hiram have changed my skin tremendously. Um, I'm the number one James Welsh stan. Like, I am the number one James Welsh fanboy. I absolutely love his content. I love him. He lives around the corner from me. Uh, not in a stalkery way, like, I know where he lives. I just happen to know the region he lives. He's just around the corner from me. So one day I would dream, dream of doing a collaboration because he's so wonderful. I adore Hiram. I think he really spearheaded a lot of the skin care has really changed a lot of brands you look at the number of brands that have changed because of higher i i think he's really done wonders for the industry so i mean, honestly love his content so so much and the fact that you would even include me in the same sentence as those two is honestly so so wonderful so thank you so much g says hi from south africa sending lots of love to south africa tanya says happy saturday sending love to tanya reve says finished the first semester of my masters yesterday i'm spent <laughs> it's all in spanish and one of the few non-native speakers can't treat myself uh, right now so at least i did a retinol body treatment this this is all about it i think when you've had, and that sounds like, first of all, congratulations for making it through all of that, because I don't think I could do a master's degree in a non-native language. That would be like too much. So congratulations. Honestly, you should be so, so proud. And for me, when it comes to pampering, even if you don't have like bougie luxury money to spend and throw all around... I don't think you need to. I think sometimes the best pampering can be to get a really, really nice bath oil. Something to just, like, it feels bougie, but doesn't need to cost the earth. The one I'm using at the moment is the Face Theory bath oil. Pour that into some hot water. Get into that bath. And honestly, I think it just soaks everything out of you and just gives you that good, positive vibe. So you definitely should treat yourself. You deserve every last bit of that pampering. So enjoy it, my love. Enjoy it. Aileen says, hi, Rob. How would you use your serum um, combined with copper amino isolate essence toner prop? properly serum and retinol well it fits beautifully into most routines so i'd say in that instance i would probably use you'd cleanse first you put your copper amino isolate serum on then your essence toner then i would put my serum the properly serum and then the retinol that order so pretty much the order that you've said there i would just slot it in after the essence toner um that way it, you can use it alongside copper the copper amino isolate serum you can but i think always just buffer it. it's just always for like good practice um but you can absolutely use it pretty much in any stage of that routine chris says congrats on 47k whoop, whoop. thank you chris honestly little when i saw it tick over i was like seriously i that can't be right that can't be right and honestly it, it was like uh, so so good so thank you to every last one of you that has subscribed it means so so much christy welcome alicia says i've got some super stubborn stubborn let me get my words out stubborn sun spots that's a bit of a tongue twister and um, would love some recommendations and um, yeah so first of all i think there's no point doing any treatments for sunspots if you haven't tackled the cause of them they can just accumulate it doesn't necessarily mean that you've not been applying sunscreen enough some people are just prone to them but i get make sure your sunscreen game is on point and ready so that when you tackle them you're not replacing them if that makes sense make sure you've got an antioxidant alongside your spf your sunscreen because i think they pair up beautifully well together 
together. And then I would get tranexamic acid, and I would use it every single night, and that will over time just lighten, brighten, and even everything out. Realistically, whatever treatment you use, you could reach for the Neod Repigment, which is a more concentrated treatment that you just dab on those spots rather than the whole face, like you would a tranexamic acid. Um, and that works so quickly. But it costs quite a lot of money. So I could reach for the Neod Repigment if money isn't an option and you want quick results. If you want to do it on a budget, but you want um, those results in a bit of a longer period, then the overnight tranexamic acid treatment by the Inculist would be my recommendation. Um, you'll see great results, but with tranexamic acid, three months is probably when you're going to start seeing those results but be be in it invest in it because i do promise you it'll work and you know they can be difficult to treat in some spots but there are solutions out there but really great question i know a lot of people do suffer with them so thank you for sharing that and um, jaya says if you have to choose one what would your choice be between western sunscreens and korean sunscreens oh I'd probably go Korean sunscreens. That's just because I'm really excited about them at the moment. I'm trying lots of new ones. We've got a lot of testing come out that show they're tried and verified. So I'm quite excited about them at the moment. Um, so I'd choose Korean sunscreens. But all that being said, I would then differentiate between uh, North American sunscreens and um, uh, European sunscreens. Because in um, the US, it is really difficult to get new sunscreens to market because of the real, real tight regulations around the UV filters you can use. So I find a lot of the US sunscreens are quite thick, quite gloopy, don't really apply very well to the skin. European sunscreens are totally different. They often using Korean filters now, so you'll see a lot of newer technology. So I'd say the European or Korean um, just depends. I find the only thing about Korean sunscreen is quite expensive. You don't get a lot of product for the price point. So if you want cheaper but similar filters, um, European sunscreens can be really good as well. But that is a really good question quite a tough one to choose now we have smashed through the 100 likes and we're not even half an hour into this live so honestly guys thank you so 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 much we are halfway towards our all-time record and honestly it means a lot to me so i'm gonna have a quick sip which will give everyone the chance that hasn't liked to minimize the chat click the like button then you can maximize the chat and be back at the same um at the same rate place that you were before now Let's have a sip of that. Keep my voice, keep my voice in check. And we'll get on with some more questions. Um Kathy, um oh so I said welcome to Kathy. Catherine says, My question is how many antioxidants does a person need? Um, do I really need a vitamin C serum if I were using a neod superoxide mist and the inculus Q10? Truth is, no, you don't need a vitamin C. So vitamin C as an antioxidant is great, but if you've already got another antioxidant in your routine, you don't need a vitamin C. I think antioxidants are one of the few things you can't overdo in skincare. You know, as long as you're aware that maybe if you load multiple on top of each other, you might not be getting the benefit. So you could be wasting your money. But in terms of for the skin, I don't think you can use too many. Um, so I think you've got a beautiful routine there. The Neod Superoxide Mist, beautiful with the Inculus Q10, stunning. Those together, great. And I probably would drop the vitamin C if I'm honest. If you aren't trying to use the vitamin C to brighten or to treat pigment, I'd probably drop it because it can be a difficult ingredient to incorporate in your routine anyway. And it sounds like you've got a great, robust antioxidant routine anyway. Steven says, I just bought the new face. What do you think about the little face electrocution? <laughs> so the new face, I love it. So I love the idea. Microcurrents, I think 90% of the benefit you get from it is actually the massage that you're doing with it. But the microcurrents do also help at the margins. So it's not completely useless. It's just, I think a lot of the benefit is from that massage, which is still great. Who cares? If you get the benefit, who really cares? Um, my only criticism with them is they're a little bit on the expensive side, like just a little bit. So I would say if you if you bought it, enjoy it, love it, and make sure you share your results. Make sure you share, because I really want to know what you think of it. If you can't push to the new face prices, don't forget that we do have these little things called hands that can do a really nice massage as well. You don't get that element of microcurrent, but it can do wonders as well. So I think new face is a fantastic investment if you can afford that price point. And um, if you can't, there are other options as well, but I'm a huge, huge advocate of facial massage. So whatever, whether you use a tool or just your plain hands, get massaging your face. It's the best thing you can do. Chan Chandra, welcome, welcome, my love. Era Glove, welcome. I'm doing wonderfully, thank you. Happy to be here again. So excited to pre-order the whole box in pre-launch. Thank you so much. Yeah, we've got literally three weeks to pre-launch, which is 
a little bit nerve wracking. A lot of things have to, the main thing that's taken a lot of my time this week is sorting out the VAT issues with Europe. So if you want to ship into the EU, you can either leave it for the purchaser to pay the VAT when they get there, when it gets there, or you can go through a whole lot of faff and forms and then you can charge VAT at the um, at the outpost, which is just better because let's be honest, everyone wants to know what they're paying up front. And when you have to pay your VAT before you can get your parcel, they charge an admin fee, which is kind of like double the price. So it's definitely worth persevering, but that's taken up most of my time this week to try and navigate the European Union system, which was a little bit baffling. Um, and I can understand why so many companies don't either don't ship into the EU or just don't charge the VAT. So let the purchaser pick it up at the other end. But we're finally there. It was worth doing all of that because it'll make for a better customer experience. And it does mean that any of you guys that are purchasing the Mad About Skin launch from the EU will have all customs and VAT paid up front. So all factored into the price. So you won't have to faff around with anything like that. It'll come to you like any other parcel and you know what you're paying. And I think that's the best customer experience, which is why I wanted to persevere. But if I was honest, I think it's taken me the best part of around 30 hours to sort that out. <laughs> Not, not that great. Not that great. And if the EU commissioner came around here, I would have words with her about her um, form filling. But I think it's worth it in the long run. So I'm super excited for everyone, anyone that is in the EU, that you'll know that you won't be paying extra charges when it arrives to you. Jessica says, hello, hello. Thoughts on the skincare by Elf? Love, love, love Elf. I've tried six of their products. It was actually Patty, um, who I know is in the live stream, um, but it's, um, that got me onto Elf and said, try it. Cruelty-free, great price point. I tried their moisturizers, stunning. I tried a couple of their um, cleansers, really good. I'm branching into more Elf. Like, I just basically, every time I go to Boots here in the UK, I throw a couple of items in my um, basket just to try. Um, and I've been really impressed. Um, I didn't like one of their cleansers didn't work for me. But other than that, I've been really impressed with their product. Um, I haven't, I've tried... Honest Beauty, um, I tried a couple of things. I tried um, their retinol serum, which was great. It was just a very low strength. So great as a starter product, but wasn't enough for my skin, but I like the product. And they do a lip balm that was really nice as well. So yeah, I've tried Honest Beauty. I'm impressed so far. And this is the typology review. <laughs> Yeah, that is definitely coming. I promise that is coming. I promise that is coming. Um, I, I'm in two minds. Basically, I haven't filmed the conclusion of it and said, like, this is what I think of the brand because I'm still a little bit in two minds, which is why it's taken a bit longer. But I do just need to upload it and get it up there. Um, Ashley Brex, welcome. I love sending you so, so much love. Suzanne says, my mum would love some more videos on beard shaving and which products to incorporate during the day of shave. I, he says, hi. First of all, hello, Suzanne, to your man. And yeah, that is really good. And actually, this is, let's do, we'll do a little bit of a um, segue because this is a good time to talk about this, actually. I have teamed up with someone on Instagram who is, um, um, let's say very much bearded rather than me who, let's be honest, I couldn't try grow a beard if I tried. Um, and talking about sort of like male grooming and how to incorporate different, you know, your skincare routine if you have got facial hair and all of that good stuff. Um, and so we will have a bit of a collaboration coming up on the channel. So that's perfect timing. Um, and I wanted to do it as a collab because whilst I do shave maybe like twice a week, let's be honest... With this amount of baby fluff, I ain't, you know, I'm not really the best person to talk about it. So we want to kind of combine experiences. So hopefully your guy will find it super useful. And anyone else out there that's wanting, you know, a little bit of understanding about the whole shaving. And of course, anything we talk about shaving and how to get a good shave can then be applied to the body if you're shaving the legs or anything like that. So it's not just for the beards. It's about for everyone else out there as well. Um, Sindhu says, uh, first of all, welcome, my love. How to reduce skin texture, especially those tiny bumps. Um, lactic acid. It will hydrate, which will help smooth the skin but it'll also exfoliate to help tackle some of that skin and um, texture irregularities so i honestly cannot cannot uh, recommend it enough lactic acid 10 percent by the ordinary if we go for the five percent if you're a little bit sensitive skinned hoshi welcome my love says happy to see you all uh, can you share some of your faves about a few brands like event vichy and bioderma so uh let's go bioderma first the micellar water don't go for the new micellar waters they do a sensitive skin one and they do one with oil all rubbish don't go for them not great the original 
is the Holy Grail is the best and definitely the one that I would personally go for. Um, Vichy, I do have a whole lot of experience with Vichy, but I think um, I know quite a few people. If you've got a scar that you're looking to cover or maybe a birthmark, not that we, let's be honest, not that we should be covering our scars and our birthmarks. I'm not promoting that. But if you do want to, it's all personal choice. If you do want to cover that issues, let me just try and sort that out. I thought we'd gone too far without internet issues. That's like a miracle. Um, so I think we're back up and running now. Let's just see yeah i think we're back up and running now sorry about that so yeah so vichy i would recommend their derma blends for covering any areas of the skin that you want to cover if you want a makeup that doesn't budge and gives that full coverage um and then Aven, i don't have a whole lot of experience with Aven. um i know their sunscreens are really well um i have tried their sunscreens and they're really well supported um i don't know if um if you've got any experience or anyone wants to share thoughts or feelings on those brands leave them in the comment section below bb sales says hi guys welcome 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 oh hot in new mexico i can only imagine Stay cool. Look after yourself, my love, because I know how warm it can be. Um, so Cody says, what do you think about switching between many products every day and night? I don't mind. I change up my products all the time. And um, that's part of being here on YouTube. I try new stuff out for you guys. My skin's pretty resilient and it doesn't mind me mixing products and changing it up a lot. Some people, particularly if you've got sensitive skin or you have a lot of allergies, it's a no. Find what works for you and stick with it. I don't think you need to switch. I think you don't need to switch, but if you want to, it just comes down to your personal skin type and whether you have a lot of sensitivity or not. Um, Veronique, welcome, my love. So, so good to see you. Stephanie, melting in Southern California. Stephanie, I am sending you so much love because I know how warm it is. So stay cool, stay chill, and honestly, all will be well. <laughs> um, uh, looking, so, uh, oh, Reve says, looking forward to seeing the Destiny news. I can't wait to share. Date for your diary, 16th of this month so a couple of days time international language of dance welcome my love sending you lots and lots of love and so good to see you alicia um says pierce just tried the face theory um after learning about them from your channel loving the paul bright and the poly prep i love that poly prep one of the best collagen boosting serums out there so so good and keep us updated on what results you get i love to hear your results from different brands and um, so definitely keep us updated steven says um sacramento here it'll be 114 degrees today yeah, I think just, you know, oh, he's got a walk-in fridge. Stephen, you're fine. Everyone over to Stephen's has got a walk-in fridge. We are all good. We can have a picnic in your walk-in fridge. That sounds ideal. <laughs> it sounds ideal. Adele says, oh, hopefully it gets fully better. He will. He's chilling. Oh, he's just heard me call his name. He's looking at me now. He'll be fine. He just really hates the eye drops. Ayush says, what should we do if we can't find a fragrance-free moisturizer? Do we have any alternatives? Yeah, if you've got very dry skin, I'd actually reach for a um, facial oil. If you don't want fragrance in your moisturizer, facial oils can be so, so good. Um, also, if you get the ordinary natural moisturizing factors, which is fragrance free, you can mix it with a facial oil for that like gorgeous, gorgeous extra hydration. Um, you don't have to use a moisturizer. If you're super oily, maybe you don't want to use a moisturizer and it's fine as long as you're getting that hydration from your serums. If you've got dry skin and you want fragrance free, reach for that cleanse, uh, for that facial oil. So, so good. Now I'm going to have a quick sip of my um, cordial here. Get the hydration going. So take a sip of your drinks, whatever you're drinking, have a quick sip. And while you're at it, if you could smash that like button i think we're gonna do it today i think we are actually gonna be our record of 200 likes because we're 123 already and we're only 40 minutes in so thank you so so much for everyone that's hit that like button if you haven't already you can minimize the chat click the like button then maximize it it takes it back to wherever you were in the chat mm. all that waffle over let's cut that and get straight on some more questions because they're coming in thick and fast um sumina says what do i think about the salicylic acid mass from the ordinary I love it. It's so good. If you ta I target it on my nose and my chin where I get blackheads and it does so, so much for my skin. I love it. They now do it in a large size as well. So I'd always recommend people get the extra large size because I think that way, I don't know, it just seems like you get more benefit um, and it's slightly cheaper. I think you get like 15% off the equivalent. So get it in the larger size if you're going to use it because I like to be lavish with it. Put a thick layer on and it does wonders for my um, pimples and for my blackheads. Uh, Zaya says, I love your voice. It's everything. Thank you so, so much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, international language of dance says oh get well soon Leah my cat was very ill recently oh well I hope your cat's on the mend my love Leo's fine he's a bit of a drama queen like his owner um, but I think it's something we hate to see them in pain and upset because you can't explain to them what's going on so having to pin him down to give him his eye drops not the best thing in the world but bless him he's a trooper he's a trooper and all of your love and hugs I'm going to send them all his way because I know he'll appreciate it Julie says can you use the um, or can I uh, yes you can use the ordinary products yeah so good um, G says South Africa 
countries going into lockdown as well. Well, I'm sending you lots, whatever the restrictions are, I always say to people, we're here once a week for you guys as a place to just chill. We can talk skincare. We're our own little family and community. So whether you're here for the first time or whether you come every single week to join us, I'm sending you so much love. And part of staying healthy is staying connected. And if we are just a small way of delivering that, I'm par proud to be a part of it. Chris says, "Pot little fur baby, I know. He's looking at me now. He's actually scowling at me now. I think he knows it's drop time soon. Um, but all your love is, then, is obviously making the world a difference to him. Chandra says, um, oh yeah, so, so, so please don't spam the um, channel with questions. So yeah, um, I would definitely say, if you've asked your question, promise you I will get round to it. Um, only ask it once because it can clog up the chat for people that are trying to follow along. Um, so yeah, do as Chandra says. Don't clog up the chat. Um, so uh, the other question that Sandra has says, uh, Chandra has says, the odd Ordinary, um, you can use the ordinary, but the ingredients you're using in patch, patch test before. And such a good bit of advice. Um, I always think before you try any new product, patch test. I know we don't always do. I don't always do it. But I think there's enough people out there that says they have a reaction to a product um, that it's always just worth getting that patch test in. Would we'll totally recommend that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, G says, um, tell me about your fur babies. Forget the skincare. Tell me about fur. Um, I've got two. I've got a Vermese called Marcel. He's cheeky. He's very hairy, which is why I'm always picking cat hair off my face. I've got Leo, who's a Singapore, which is a smaller breed of cat. It's the national cat of Singapore. So sending lots of love to anyone that's over in Singapore. And he's a little sweetheart. He's a little angel. Um, Marcel is a little cheeky chap, and they're both absolutely amazing. I'll try and do more cat. Um, they used they used to always join me in the video. So whilst it does reset everything. I think we're up to date with everything. There we are. Sorry about that, guys. It will, like, buffer at times. Just bear with me. My internet is not the best in the world. Uh, Vivian, welcome, my love. Is tretinoin worth the hype? Oh, good question. Um, I think it is, but it's not the absolute must-have. So for people that are new to retinol, I'd start with a lower over-the-counter retinol and work your way up to tretinoin. It's great, but it's not the must-have be-all and end-all. Um, do you need a glycolic acid if retinol is already in your routine? Um, yes, it's a great way of slothing off some of the dead skin cells that you can get from um, tretinoin or other retinols but I'd say maybe do it twice a week do an exfoliation twice a week if you're already using a high strength retinol I don't think you need to use to them both every single day if that makes sense of course glycolic acid is an option but you could use something hydrating like lactic acid if you're getting the retinol uglies the dry skin and the things that you can get from introducing tretinoin or retinol um let's have a look um so Zaya says can I use the ordinary niacinamide serum and some by my alpha beta beta <laughs> miracle moisturizer yes you can use the both, both together, they will complement each other quite well. Kirat says, what um, concentration of tranexamic acid help fade hyperpigmentation? 5% um, is the optimum, but anything between 3 and 5% will work. So the inky list, I think, is... 3%. Um, Superdrug here in the UK do a 5% for like £2. It's so cheap. Definitely recommend the Superdrug Me Plus range. It is so, so good. Um, but I'd say between 3 and 5% is probably the optimum. Christine says, oh, busy live today. Happy to see that I can't wait for the 1st of August launch. Thank you so, so much for love. And I, I'm, I can't wait for the launch just to be able to finally share it with you guys. Expert Gaming LA. My country is India. Well, I thought you'd be able to say you're sending love to LA, but sending you lots and lots of love to India. And we are shipping to India. So I know a lot of brands are I never understand why. So we asked you to India. So sending you lots and lots of love. Um, so Catherine says, thanks for the recommendation of the Round Birch um, Lab uh, Juice Serum. Finally found my perfect sunscreen. I love that. Tried, tested, independently verified, and so good for the skin. So yes, sending you lots and lots of love. And I'm so, so glad you found your dream sunscreen. Um, Squeef, I think I pronounced that right, says, good mineral drugstore SPF. Um, here in the UK, I go for the CN, which is the little um, brand one. Their spot, so, so good. It can be difficult to find a mineral SPF that's drugstore priced. They're just not that um, cheap usually, um, but the ordinary one is fine, as long as you don't have very dark skin tone, because I do find it leaves a bit of a white cast. Um, Sethi says, hi, this is a weird situation, because I'm awake in the night and sleep during the day. Should I wear sunscreen and then go to sleep? No, I do not believe you need to wear sunscreen um, when you're not exposing yourself to, to light. If you've got the curtains closed, you don't need to wear sunscreen. If you're sleeping with the window open and the sun shining on you, then I will put some sunscreen on before you go to sleep. Yes. But it all comes, depends on what the UV exposure is. If you've got the curtains closed, no. you don't. I know some people wear it when they go to bed. I'm like, no. If you've got the curtains closed, you don't need to do that. Uh, Michelle says, hello. Welcome, my love. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Adele says, I think I was one of the first to submit a question because I saw the message saying we can drop them earlier, but I don't see it in the chat now. Don't want to spam, but make sure you lost it. 
it. Adele, I'm so sorry. I do think I've missed that. But drop it. Feel free to drop it again, my love. It's not spam. I did. If I've missed it, you could obviously drop it again. Um, and I'll get back to you straight away, my love. Beth, hello. I'm so, so glad I could join you. And hopefully the kiddies behave long enough so you can uh, keep watching till it's their bedtime. But I'm sending you so, so much love. Charlotte says, first 10th of August can't come quick enough. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I just, I'm, I'm a bit worried. I hope we don't sell out too quickly because obviously it's a dream come true to have a sellout product. Like, don't get me wrong. But I want everybody to be able to get their hands on it. So fingers crossed. I've made the orders the right amount. Who knows? Only time will tell. Um, uh, Ritu says, any retinol serums in your skincare line? Uh, no, not yet. Um, there will be. Um, I wanted to just launch with three products because I think that way I could do three products well. Um, so the three products are going to be a cleanser, an all-in-one serum, and a moisturizer. Retinol is coming down the line, but the launch, the next launch we've got planned is a little bit of a, is going to be a balm cleanser, and it's coming out with Chris at the same time as Christmas, so we're going to do a fragrance-free version of a balm cleanser, which hopefully everyone will like, and then, a, because it's Christmas, we're also going to do a limited edition Christmas festive scented ones that's going to smell of everything good for Christmas, and um, so that's the next one, and then we'll work on retinols in the next year, but yes, it's coming, just not quite yet. Um, Mim says, how do I get rid of melasma? Um, definitely would recommend a combination of tranexamic acid and azelaic acid those two together will really help over time to treat it but just remember melasma can take months to treat so don't expect quick results but build that in over time now i'm going to have a quick sip of my tea we are tea water uh, we are 50 uh, minutes into the chat we've got still got plenty of time we've still got 40 minutes left guys so keep those questions coming and um, if you haven't already if you could click that like button we're 140 likes 60 more to break our record i think we can do that um, so if you haven't already click that like button if you minimize the chat click the like button and maximize it, it takes you back to where you were so definitely 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 uh, click that like if, if you want to spot the channel mm. now enough of that let's get cracking on with some more questions so christina says i will start 24 hour calls in hospital on tuesday i'm curious how i managed to do my routine now i'll probably have to carry all the stuff with me my colleagues will think i'm crazy i would say christina if first of all all power to you for doing all that in hospital. I hope everyone appreciates the effort because I think sometimes we take for granted those people that are on call 24 hours that I couldn't even imagine. So I'm sending you so, so much love. And what I would say is, this is probably one of those occasions where everyone gasps, makeup wipes might actually help. Get a really good cleansing wipe because if that's probably the step that you'll struggle with most to actually get, you know, a good and effective cleanse. So if you don't have access to a sink where you can do all your cleanser, um, then feel free to reach for a makeup wipe, which everyone demonizes. But I think in the case of what you're saying, probably will work. If you can get your, obviously a full cleanse is better. So if you can get yourself to um, a sink and you're able to use your full cleanser, that would be wonderful. But just good luck, my love. Good luck. And share with you how, share with us how you do it because we all want that routine on a go. I would love to know what you think. Um, <laughs> so Williams, we almost have a champagne toast on the first live after the Mad About Skin launch. I promise. I'm going to do a special live to like do like a launch kind of thing with you guys. There'll be a special live and do not worry, I will have the champagne firmly on the go. Mercedes says, Rob, have you read the book Skincare by Caroline Hirons? And what do you think of it? Has anyone read it? So Mercedes, first of all, happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying the book. I love Caroline. She's one of my absolute go-to holy. She's one of the people that really inspired me most um, when I got into skincare. Love her. Um, I love the book. It's one of my holy grails. I read it just about every time I go on holiday. I take it with me and just read it because I always find something new that maybe I skimmed over last time. Definitely worth it and I hope you love it. Most people come out with books and I'm like, oh, here we go. Another book. Nobody needs that. Hers, genuinely really good. Would totally recommend it. Now, I've got a Marcel cat hair. He's here with us in... Again, I, I, this is what I mean by saying I spent all my life covered in cat hair. Elizabeth says, I used to have a gooseberry bush at home growing up. If my memory serves me correctly, they are terrible fruit to pick, yummy and jam. I agree. This is a gooseberry cordial. Um, I would definitely agree. Terrible to pick, beautiful in jam, really nice in a cordial as well. Wouldn't have known that. Valerie says, as far as retinol, is adapting the strongest over the counter? Yeah, I'd say it's the strongest you can get over the counter. Though you can get tretinoin, which is the purest form and the strongest um, on like online consultations now. So that's worth exploring if you want to get tretinoin. You can get it through an online dermatologist consultation and um, curology do one uh, dermatica do one so that's it's not over the counter but it's easier to get than it used to be uh, blaze says hi everyone uh, hi rob 50k subs here we go oh i'd love honestly the champagne will be on ice ready for that as well um 3, to go i don't know i honestly don't know when we'll hit that if i hit that before the launch of my skincare products i would literally be like it would be quite nice because i i announced the launch of the, the that i was formulating the line at 5,000 subscribers so it would kind of be nice if to get to 50,000 for them but honestly I'm just so appreciative of every last subscriber so no expectations whatsoever and um, Mim welcome sending love to Bangladesh and um, Michelle says I don't like the 
starts on YouTube. That's okay, my love. Uh, it's okay. And this is what I don't... So I don't want to be that, like, cop-out creator that thinks, oh, I'll do shots because they're easy to film and, you know, you still get views because I know not everyone likes them. So they'll definitely be in addition um, to a to the standard content. I'm not replacing the standard content with them. So just as a heads up, because I don't want anyone to think that's the case. Um, William says, shots are like a public service announcement commercial. I know. And I'm, I like to waffle. I like to say a lot in my videos. So a minute is almost impossible for me. Uh, Princess says, hello. Welcome, my loves. Thank you so, so much for joining. I love your channel. First time here. Can you use Bakuchi or Medicaid peptides with the ordinary copper peptides? Yes, yes, and yes. They work so well together. I would definitely recommend them. Uh, <laughs> Danny says, I love shorts too. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just going to have to get rid of this cat hair. Like, how hard? It's been lingering for the entire the entirety of this live stream. <laughs> Brooke says, I just started the ordinary buffer with copper peptides and I can't wait to try it. Brooke, I hope you love it. It's one of my favourite products. Um, that and the copper amino isolate serum by Neod. I tend to mix and match the two. Love them both. Chris says, Rob, what is your dream product for your skincare line? Is this an ingredient combo that's to die for? Um, I um, The dream is to keep it as affordable as possible because I love my drugstore skincare and I don't want to create something that's super expensive and bougie and unobtainable. I want it to be super inexpensive. Um, so I don't, what would be my dream, dream product? I would love... I want to come out with a solution for hyperpigmentation because I know this is something that lots of people suffer with and it can be really, really difficult to treat. So I want like a one-stop shop fix for correcting dark spots and hyperpigmentation. That's my dream product and that will have so many pigment correcting ingredients in and that's something I'm kind of working on in the background so watch this space for it. Um, Elizabeth said, I love the shots. I'll take off any opportunity to watch you. Oh, Elizabeth, you're too kind. Too kind. But I'm here for the compliments. <laughs> um, Veronique and Dave Rancor says, have you tried the regime lab are you planning to yes i've got it all on order it was supposed to come today but the postman hasn't been so i'm assuming it's going to come on monday and i can't wait to tear into it and just try all their products because i know marlene is loving and fangirling it some other subscribers have been recommending it to me so i cannot cannot wait um Valley says, what do you think of Topicals Faded? Just purchased it for dark spots. I love Topicals as a brand. I think they're really good. I haven't tried the Faded personally, but I know so many people that love it. So I want to know. Keep us updated. What are your thoughts and feelings on it? Lily's World, welcome, my love. Uh, Jan says, do the cats get along with the chickens? No. No. <laughs> it's a firm no, Jan. I'd love to say that they did. No. Marcel just ignores them. He has no idea what they are. He doesn't care. Leo... He'd have a go if he could try. <laughs> Annika says, Ultraist has a 10% urea cream that's cheap and great. Great on tret cheats too. I saw this. So I love Ultraist. I haven't actually tried um, their urea cream. So Annika, thank you for calling that out. Totally would recommend it because um, I love Ultraist the brand. Now I am obviously so far behind with these comments, but look, we've got another 35 minutes to go. So as long as you guys keep clicking that like button, I'll keep answering questions. Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? <laughs> International Language says, do you use a microcurrent device? Oh, we've already, I'm so behind with these comments i mentioned the microcurrent i personally don't use one but i would recommend the new face based on what everyone else says is great i would definitely use you say you use um aloe vera gel with yours i think that's probably the best it's natural it's hydrating it gives that slip it's also not too expensive because you really want to put a thick layer on when you're using it so i think aloe vera is the way forward and i'd probably recommend the new face though i haven't actually dipped my toe. I spent so much on my um, LED mask that I haven't yet purchased a microcurrent device. But what do you think, guys? Should I try Should I try some? I think I probably should. Um, <laughs> Christina says, gently caress that like button, everyone. We do. We don't smash the like button on this channel. Like, lots of lots of content creators want you to smash the like button. I'm like, we don't smash anything here. We gently caress. So if you could do as Christina says, I would love you forever. Um, uh, Valerie says, can you use azelaic acid twice a day? You can, but I would definitely work up to that. I wouldn't naturally go in straight away twice a day. Use it in the morning, then add it into the evening as your skin becomes accustomed to it. Um, I did, and now I use it twice a day. Lily's World says, what do you prefer more? Centella or aloe vera? Aloe vera all the way. I te Team aloe, especially because I've got my own aloe vera plant. Cut into it, scoop it out, put it on. Feels so, so good. I use it as a bit of a face mask, and honestly, my skin loves it. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Jana says, to confuse you even more, my name should sound more like Yania. Yeah, Yana. 
Yana, Yana, I think I've said that right. I'm so sorry. I'm rubbish with names because I combine the worst of like the northern UK accent. <laughs> but thank you for explaining that. And I'm sending you so, so much love. Uh, Lila says, welcome. Sending you lots of love, my love. Thank you, thank you so much for joining. Dominique, wonderful to see you, my love. Sweet tea, wonderful. So, so good to see you both. The Wanderer says, hello. Is there any caution when adding tranexamic acid to my skincare routine? I'd love to try the Inculus, but I'm really afraid of breaking out. Um, so it all comes down to formulation so I don't find that the Inculus one breaks me out particularly I think it's fine I have very breakout prone skin but it'll be very much unique to you and your skin type so I just say play around and try some different formulations but I'd say the Inculus one is absolutely fine and there's nothing you really need to worry about um, when it comes to tranexamic acid it's pretty easy to incorporate and it works with just about everything thank you so so much for loving your love and support though um, so, um, oh so Dominique says have I tried the Biosense products I have I tried it because what's his name from Queer Eye tried it Jonathan tried it and I tried all their products they're a little bit on the pricey side so I'm going to call them out for being a bit expensive but they worked really well so I'd say if budget isn't a major concern Biosons have a really nice range of products they're a lot of their products are in square lane so they're quite hydrating and um, I definitely would recommend them but the price point is a little bit much they do a really nice um, sunscreen but the price point just means I never apply enough so that's the only thing I caution but I have liked everything I tried from them Mina says any body wash recommendations that are not too drying are um, body wash I love 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 the salicylic acid wash by the Inculus which isn't super drying and it also helps to tackle any um, texture that you might have on the skin so if you've got KP uh, the very unfortunately named chicken skin because I've got chickens and I love them um, then that can help if you've got any body acne that can also help so I'd say get yourself a salicylic acid wash the one by the Inculus is my favourite Kelly says what's your must have ingredients for sensitive redness rosacea combo skin definitely panthenol calms soothes definitely a low strength as lake acid like a five percent will work wonders for both the scarring and also your um rosacea and i'd also get um alan tonin in there if you can as well those three would be my holy grail larry says rest on squarely before or after moisturizer during so mix it with your moisturizer because it just applies so much better and sinks in so so much quicker so i'd say actually just mix the two together in the palm apply it you'll get so much better application um sweet tea says what's your favorite lip product with or without spf i don't put spf in my lip products because i just put my spf on my lip so i don't use a specific uh, spf lip product but i'd say that my favorite for the ones with obviously that has without is the nux nui nux n-u-x-e it's a french brand they do a honey bar um, oh my god so good so good and a little goes a long way so and you you need to apply that like twice a day and you get all that hydration i love it lily's well said what do you think of the inkillus salicylic acid cleanser can you use it daily oh i've just mentioned that not because of your comment but because so yes i found girl hard about it i love it love it love it and you can use it daily if you've got oily skin you can use it twice a day if you have very oily skin so good um <laughs> Alicia says not a stalkery way I love the Welsh twins they are they're so adorable and you know what I've just realised how far behind I am with the comments so I'm so sorry but I'm working through them we can chat we're all here we're not in a rush are we we can chat through them and I promise 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 um, that I will get through to all of your questions now, uh, Jan says, I use peptides in the morning only. Is there a benefit to using them twice a day? Um, so Jan, yes, you can use them twice a day. I would say if you, using them in the morning is right. And I think it's enough to just use them in the morning. But if like me, you're a bit bougie, a bit extra, and you love your peptides, you can use them both morning and evening. And there will be a benefit to doing it. But definitely once a day is, if budget, if you don't want to splurge too much, once a day is absolutely fine. Dear 13 says, we have a premiere after the live. I just want to know to make a cup of tea or a litre. We don't today. So, um, um, I decided like I'm, I'm toying with whether people like the live premieres after the videos um, after the lives um, I did I filmed two videos I'm super excited about that take a little bit more editing so we've got shorts today we've got the live stream and then tomorrow we've got our usual video which I'm going to be putting out um, That should we do it as a live premiere yes daddy we'll do it as a live premiere for tomorrow's video which I hope you guys will love um, Lady Cap 93 says, what do you think of the fourth Ray brand? I've never tried them. Would you recommend them? Um, I don't know. I've never heard of them or tried them. After I, um, I always watch this back on replay and I make a note of everything that I promise to do. So I'll check them out as a brand and let you know if that's okay because I've never even heard of them. Um, Charlotte says, any recommendations for necklines, chest wrinkles? I have wrinkly skin when I wake up in the morning and it doesn't completely go in the day. Um, massage is really important. So that just gets everything flowing and really, really help. I would definitely recommend getting a low strength rest 
retinol and putting on the air, but very low strength because both of these areas can be a little bit sensitive. So go for a very low strength retinol. That will help. You can also put collagen peptides there, so like copper peptides, and that'll boost some of the firmness in the snapback. But yeah, definitely would recommend it. Um, ADY says, hi, I can't seem to figure out what order I'm supposed to apply my anhydrous solutions such as neod and vitamin C. Oh, we have a Leo. Bear with. Oh, Leo. Oh, you wanted cats? You get Leo. Look, you're going to say hello to everyone, Leo. Yeah, I know. It's scary, isn't it? It is scary. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. No, oh, you, yeah. We're going to squeak and get out. He's the least sociable cat in the world. Are you, Leo? Come and sit on my knee. No, you're going to sit and stare at me. Never mind. Uh, but at least you got you got a glimpse of cat. I promised it and you got it. So anyway, back to that question. <laughs> so figure out when to put your anhydrous solution, such as neod vitamin C. Um, to the end of the routine, I always put your water-based serums first and then put any other serums afterwards because water finds it difficult to get through any oils that might be in products. So definitely put your water-based serums first and then follow with any oil-based serums afterwards. Uh, <laughs> Sweet Tea says, hugs from Florida, but they're sweaty hugs. A hug is a hug, my love. No complaints. Um, let's have a look. Uh, DM13, Danny says, a combination of repigment with exoglose to improve my hyperpigment so much. Oh, Danny, that is the ultimate combination. I love the exoglow by face theory and I love the neod repigment. Exoglow all over, repig repigment just on those areas you need it. Oh, match made in heaven. Now, I'm going to take a quick. You've, now, we've all had a glimpse of Leo. I promised you, cat. You've got cat. So I think that deserves a like. So I'm going to take a sip of my um, water. Keep the throat hydrated. We've got another half an hour to keep going. So keep your questions coming. And I promise I'll get around to them. But in return, you have to smash that like button to keep keep the live going. So we're at 154. So we're 46 likes away from all time record. So if you guys haven't already, smash the like button. You can minimize the chat. Smash the like button. Maximize it. And it takes you back to the chat. But I'm just going to have a sip of my water. Keep me hydrated. And let's go on with Curo says, um, Asian sunscreen's highest UVA protection is PA++++, which is the PPD, which is the standard measurement of 16 and above. So it could be 16, 18, absolutely. Um, could we have more details about that? So I think it'd be good. I would love it if brands were more open about their UVA protection, because I think we all focus down on the SPF, which stops us burning, but the UVA rays ages. So I think it's just as important to have both. And um, also they can contribute to skin cancers as well. So I think it's... Um, but to have both. I think brands could be a little bit more transparent. Um, they obviously work uh, with within the you know, guidelines that they're given. So that's why the PA rating only goes up to a plus four. But I think the higher the UVA rating, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Nina says, congrats for all the work you do. Thank you so, so much, Nina. Thank you for all your love and uh, support. Um, so Kira says, yeah, just make sure you've got a PPD, so UVA protection of 20, at least in the sunscreen. So I'm not coming out with the sunscreen. Um, it's so, so much work. I will over the, as time progresses, I will, but it takes so much to be able to launch with the sunscreen. I maybe didn't really appreciate this with brands before. Um, and because you've got to go through all the testing and do it right, which absolutely you have to. Um, so it's something that is for the future, but isn't something coming out with, but obviously having a really good um, UVA protection will be a core, core part of that. Um, Lindsay said, I so can't wait for your skincare. Thank you so, so much, my love. And thanks for all your love and support. Uh, Menade said, how late am I? Do not worry, my love. I would say better late than never and these live streams are always up on replay straight after so if you did miss it for whatever reason do not worry because you can join the replay squad and catch up on any bits that you missed out on super skin essentials says i'm so incredibly proud of you excited for your launch a dream come true i'm excited to try all those orders from canada thank you so so much and i would definitely recommend i've been binging some of your content as well super skin so definitely 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 check out super skin essentials on youtube definitely worth a little a little cheeky watch because honestly i remember when you know we're on this youtube journey together so thank you so so much for your love and support it means so much and um, bear me welcome my love welcome uh, so he says it's so cute to hear you call out my name it's a pleasure um i'm that's what i'm here for that is what i'm here for um that's, oh, i've lost the comments now i always do this um i always always do this um let's have a look uh da, 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 da. Ah, i'm back i'm back to where i am so um <laughs> so, so uh, zia says you can call me um lynn if you're having troubles with burma names thank you so much that's really kind and i will do um i'm rubbish with names but i always like to try I think, you know, everyone likes a trier, and I'm a trier in life. <laughs> Teresa says, happy Saturday, Rob. Happy Saturday, Teresa. It's so wonderful to see you. Um, it says, I'm so glad I'm finally able to catch a live. I've been using the face theory of vitamin C 30 in the evening and waiting at least 30 minutes before applying my retinol. Is that long enough? That is more than long enough, Teresa. First of all, I hope you're enjoying that vitamin C. I love it. Um, if I, that is more than long enough. Usually people recommend you waiting five to 10 minutes. Um, you can... 
if I'm in a rush, I don't even wait that long, which I know is bad. But if you want to use an ellascopic acid and then put your rest on afterwards, 30 minutes is more than enough. So I think you're totally doing the right thing there. Um, so look, um, Adri says, oh, you're on the best, Rob. Thank you for taking uh, care of the VAT for us. It's a pleasure, Adri. I just think, I know why brands don't. It, it can be a little bit confusing and difficult, but I think if you are if you are really important, like if you want to put the customer first, which I'm all about, I think it's really important that you make it as seamless as possible. Um, and it's worth spending a day of my life to do all of that because hopefully you only have to do it once and then it's set forever which is the main thing and Michelle says there are pillars to help you from turning in your sleep there are I've never had any success with them I end up throwing them out of the bed in my sleep and just sleeping on <laughs> on my hands I am useless um <laughs> William says Benton review <laughs> so you'll be pleased William that I have now tried every single item from Benton that I wanted to so there will be a review coming I promise so says hello welcome welcome um will your um brand be age tag like Hiram's. No, I wanted my uh, skincare brand to be totally open. Whatever your age, I think the products will work for you. I also want to be totally transparent with who I think can benefit from each product. There's no point saying they're great for everybody because it's not the case, but they will definitely, definitely, definitely um, work for um, as broad a um, category of ages as possible. It's um, gonna tackle, you know, if people are looking maybe in their 60s and want to use products, it'll work so well for them. If you're in your 30s, it'll work. It's all just about matching it to your skin type rather than the age profile, which I wanted to stay away from. So, but that's a really great question. Uh, Yania says, um, I really appreciate that we, um, as customers have these formulas with VAT and custom started. It was a pain with my few UK deliveries. I know, it's not even like, I don't even think the paying, the VAT and the customs duty is necessarily the issue. It's the fact you have to pay like 10 euros admin charge. I'm like, because you've got to pay the VAT and the customs one way or the other. But the admin charge, really? 10, 10 euros for admin? Like, who's who's administering this? <laughs> like, how much are we paying these people to administer this? And um, that's quite, it's quite a high rate. Um, so hopefully it'll just make it easier for everyone. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Mehmet, welcome, my love, and says, uh, Man Cave products are amazing for beard and shaving. Thank you, Mehmet. I would really appreciate that. I'll, I'll check them out. Thank you so, so much. Kanis is Globe and Ramon. No, that is not um, Ramon that I'm doing um, the uh, collaboration with. Though I think he has got a beard, so it would be a good option. But no, it's not. I, I'm keeping my lips are firmly sealed. Um, Chanel says, hi from Trinidad. Welcome, my love. Sending lots of love to the Caribbean. I was supposed to be on a Caribbean cruise in a week's time. That isn't happening, but that's fine because who needs the Caribbean when you've got Southampton on your doorstep here? But I will say I'm so, so, so looking forward to my next trip to Trinidad because honestly, when I went uh, last time, some of the nicest people I've ever, ever been um, were there and the food... I could have come come back literally 20 pounds heavier because the food was so gorgeous. So sending lots and lots of love all the way to Trinidad. ADY says, hi, I'm not sure which order you're supposed to, oh, we've covered that one already. Um, Anastasia says, can I send you some Australian skincare to review? Um, honestly, that is so, so kind. And um, if you want to reach out and send any products, uh, obviously it'd be so appreciated. But equally, I don't expect any gifts from anybody. I'm quite happy to buy products as well. So if you wanted to send something, um, reach out on, to my DMs on Instagram and and obviously I'd love to chat to you but equally if anyone's got any brands that they want to recommend me purchase I'm always quite happy to buy them as well but that is honestly so so kind of you so thank you so so much um well ooh, super skin essential says what's your favorite face theory moisture and also I do really want I love Australian skincare Alpha H Australian brand one of my favorite favorite brands ever so super skin essential says what is your favorite face theory moisturizer I am the super gel kind of gal I love that super gel moisturizer so so good and it doesn't it doesn't break me out it doesn't impact my it doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing a mask so I'd fully recommend the super gel moisturizer for anyone that's a little bit oily a bit acne prone so good and uh, Bemi says hello from Germany I'm sending lots and lots of love to Germany. Monet says, uh, I consider UVA of 15 and above to be adequate for cancer proof. I think it comes down to personal protection and I always say, make sure that you're choosing a sunscreen that you can believe in, you trust, and that meets whatever needs you are. Because obviously someone that has a lower UV index, like here in the UK, needs different level of protection than someone that might be living in a desert-like climate where there's a much higher UV rate. So you've got to just be mindful of matching it to your circumstances, any underlying health conditions, all that stuff. Rachel, uh, Raquel, welcome, my love. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry, my love. It's your little one's birthday party. Well, happy party on, party on, my love, and I hope you, they had a wonderful birthday party. Um, and 
says, um, if you ask brands, you have a small chance of them telling you. Yeah, it's, you could always reach out to brands. Brands aren't required to disclose concentrations of percentages. I think it's a good habit for transparency for people, um, to, but it doesn't always happen. But if you reach out to brands, sometimes they will tell you. Bobby John Savage, welcome, my love, and sending you lots of love to a lockdown Sydney. I know people are going, it's, it's constantly changing out there. So I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Um, so Lindsay said, I'm going out of town with the launch day. Don't worry, I promise. So the restock, if everything sells out, the lab that I'm working with have been so, so good. The restock turnaround is two weeks. So it's not gonna be one of those that's out of stock for years and years and years. So hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on it, I promise. Mehmet says, track a trace, ping me to isolate so I get to watch the live. Mehmet, that's not good. But at least the positive is you get to watch the live. So I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Stay safe and, you know, good on like I say, I applaud people that do follow the advice and do the isolation. It does. I've done it a couple of times. It is not the best. It's not the most fun. But you know what? Just think, you get to sit and watch the live with us. So that's all That's all good. <laughs> now, please keep your comments coming. We've got another 20 minutes of um, uh, live stream still to go. So do not worry. I've got plenty of time to get through to them. I'm going to have the last drop of my water, which is a pause that we need 37 likes to be our all time record. So I'm sure you guys, there must be people out there that haven't yet clicked that like button. So if you haven't already, as I say, bottoms up to this cordial, click that like button and then we'll get on with some more questions. Oh, so good. Um, so Alex, Alex says, can you try out Revox products and tell us what you think of them? Um, so Revox actually reached out to me about two weeks ago and said, we'd love to send you some products to try. And uh, they were so kind, they were so lovely. And what I love is when brands say, can we just send you some products? Try them, no obligation. I love that because a lot of brands actually come and say, we can send you this in exchange for a guaranteed review. I'm like, no, that isn't how life works. And uh, Revox was so good and so kind. And uh, they're sending me all the products they think will work for acne prone skin, which is my skin type. So I'm going to try them and do a full review. Um, I've been pretty impressed with what I've seen. Oh, another cat hair. How is this even possible? I've been really um, impressed with what I've seen so far. Um, so yeah, I'll do a, I'll do a full review when it comes. Give me a month to try the products properly. And then absolutely, I'll do a review for you. Patel says, thanks for your wonderful videos. Thank you so much. Honestly, thank you for your love and support which is what keeps me going. Sylvia says, my question, I bought um, the Biore UV sunscreen SPF 50 and now I realize it has alcohol in it. Not only do I not like putting alcohol on my face for the dehydration, it smells of alcohol. So it does. Um, th the challenge is, I like the Biore UV um, fluid. It does have alcohol, but that's great for me as someone who has oily, acne prone skin because it glides on, it keeps me matte, I don't mind a bit of dehydration. If you don't want alcohol in your skincare routine, then obviously it is one to um, give a firm pass to. And I'd maybe look out for, one of the really nice ones is um, the Make Prem sunscreen is a really nice option that's alcohol free. I'll recommend that one because that's got a really, really nice finish to it as well. Um, May Day 28 says, thanks for such a welcoming and positive atmosphere. It's an absolute pleasure, my love. What would be your recommendation for a good basic cleanser and moisturizer without actives? I already pack so many in because of my acne and past scarring. So I love an active free um, cleanser. The ones that I'm loving at the moment, I'm liking the Purito from Green um, Cleansing Foam. That is so luxurious. It's got a really unique texture that I'm really enjoying using. I'm enjoying using the Hiram um, Cleanser as well. That Selfless by Hiram Cleanser is really good. Um, it's a little bit up there in price point. So will I repurchase when I'm done? Jury's out. It's a little bit up there in price point, but I'm really enjoying using it. Um, I also really, really like um, the Inculus Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser because actually it hasn't got loads of actives in. That fulvic acid isn't, you know, isn't class. I don't class it as an active particularly because it's not going to, it's not in a high enough concentration to do anything. Those are my favorite active free cleansers. In terms of moisturizers, I love, love, love um, to use a rosehip seed oil, which is a nice hydrator. And also I love the um, natural moisturizing factors by The Ordinary. Those two together, dream. Vivian Welker says, all right, time to hit the hay. It's 1.45 a.m. night. Oh my gosh. Um, stay safe, my love. If you're going into lockdown, I'm sending you so, so, so much love. Stay safe and we are here for you. So sending you lots of love. Tamsin said, I got my uh, Dr. Jack toner today and the essence looking forward to using it. Oh, Ooh, I'm very intrigued. I want to know all about it. So Tamsin, make sure you keep us posted. If you haven't already, guys, we do have a Facebook group as well. So um, feel free. At the, I leave the link at the bottom of all my videos to the Facebook group. So feel free to join us over on the Facebook group. We love to have you there. That's where we're going to announce the um, pre-order period for the skincare line. If you do want to get your hands on it first. And um, we're also going to be um, sharing. We do lots of member routines, befores and afters, all of that. Good uh, 
sorry about this guys we will be back on asap it just likes to do a bit of buffering ah we are back in the room so yes you can absolutely use your colloidal c toner um, from face theory with your retinol vitamin c's and retinol are fine to use together just i wouldn't use the super high strength pure form vitamin c and retinol i think it could be irritating but that is absolutely fine ian welcome so so good from a sunny ish london yeah we've got a sunny ish southampton here so i'm sending you lots of love um, um so tamzin says what have i missed is this your line i'm wanting to set when it launches i feel all the skincare will be a brand yeah so it is it's i've designed it all so i've started worked from scratch to create the line with a formulator um it's an independent lab they said what do you want and we'll make it and make it work for you and they've been so so good so i can't wait to share it with all you guys um pre-launch start of august can't wait to share it with you um uh, so ADY says, I'm living in the UK and the shipping of £4.50, if I remember correctly, or UK standard shipping. I'm a bit worried that the price of the shipping will sometimes be half of worth the cleanser. So um, the standard shipping will cover everything in the UK, including like the VAT and stuff, which is why that's priced at that. So um, if it's if you only order one cleanser, for example, if you just order the cleanser, then the shipping won't be there. That's the maximum shipping, shipping rate. Leo, my cat's just squealing. Wait, I'm just going to let him out. There you go. He got bored. He got bored. And sorry, I think I just, you know, did a full on bomb shot to everyone on the camera. Never mind. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the price of shipping will be capped at £4.50 for the UK. If um, the rate is lower than that, then obviously I'll charge you the lower rate. Patel says, please recommend a good sunscreen for my super oily hormonal acne skin. Um, don't know which country you're coming from, so I don't know exactly which to recommend, but I would say um, the Make Prend sunscreen works really well for me. I love the um, Biore UV um, water essence. That works so well. It's got the alcohol in, which will just high mattify everything and works so, so well. Um, Star, welcome, welcome, welcome. Says, what does black spots on the lips mean? Could just be pigmentation, but I would get it checked out. Just on the safe side, um, I would get that checked out. Um, so um, Tamsin says, am I going to have enough product for launch? I hate people that feel disappointed when they miss out. Uh, I, I, I hoped so when I ordered it. I had to order the quantities four months ago and things have changed since then. So I think we'll see. But the good news is it's going to be um, restocked within two weeks. So if it does run out, then it will be restocked in two weeks. It's not going to be one of those style products that's out. Your know, brands are out for months and months and months. So I will just call that out. But hopefully there'll be enough and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, Squiffy said sunscreen with a matte finish I use the Garnier Ambrosia which left a burning tingling feel I've been using the P20 Kids 50 but it leaves an oily mess yeah I would definitely recommend um, going for the Make Prem sunscreen which is one I always recommend to people totally matte feels gorgeous on the skin Mark Hen said I'm late but happy to be here Mark thank you so so much for joining honestly it's so so good to have you here um, Alice welcome 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 and happy Saturday my love thank you so so much now we have 10 minutes left I'm going to go through as many questions as I can in that 10 minutes because I know I'm so so far behind and um, we are 32 likes away from our all-time record who knows we might still smash it so if you're one of the people that's watching but hasn't yet um hasn't yet smashed that like button if you could do me a favor minimize the chat hit the like button then maximize the chat again we would obviously love you forever I'm going to skip some question and try and just get through blast through quick fire questions for the last um 10 minutes and um, so Max says I'm using a zero line 10 percent marine hyaluronics and sub cute beautiful blend would you apply them in that order and should I wait in between the application um, I would you can use actually in any order would be absolutely fine um, I would definitely recommend um, so I would definitely recommend using it in the order that you said Mark I think that's absolutely wonderful um, let's have a look um, uh, Chandra uh, Sandra sorry says hi Rob are you still planning to launch a fragrance version of your products yes I'm for, I think the cleanser fragrance cleanser is going to launch at the same time as the rest that's the plan there's just that's the one that's got a little bit of question mark over it um, sourcing some of the ingredients but very much hopeful yes there will be a fragrance version of the moisturizer and the cleanser which hopefully we'll be able to launch with Kirsty says hi Rob how do I use the super drug me plus SPF booster is it the same as sun sunscreen it is it's basically the same sunscreen but i actually use it in conjunction with my favorite sunscreen just to maximize it but yes that is exactly how it would work um so mark says i can't believe you've been to trinidad that's where i'm from originally mark i said also i loved it i love it like twice three times now are oh, so so good i loved every second of it uh, Braden says uh, welcome 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 Lindsay says hi are you going to be selling on amazon and um, i what that was my default so i was going to sell on amazon 
if I couldn't get the VAT sorted. But now I've been able to do that. It's all going to be done um, on a standalone website. It just makes it cheaper. There's less fees involved. It makes it cheaper so I can keep the cost of the prices down. No, it says, um, Rob, the Ferrero Bear is better than the new face for microcurrent. I didn't know that. So I'll look into that. Thank you so, so much for calling that out. Eric Jackman says, did you see the um, native SPF 30 mineral? It's so nice and there's several different scent options. I Oh, I've never tried that. I've not actually tried anything from native either. So I will give that a try. Um, thanks for calling that out. And what I do is I always rewatch these um, back, these live streams back so I can make a note of all of the... Um, promises that I make so I will definitely check that out me too thanks says hi Rob I wanted to know what your favorite glow recipe products are I've been thinking about purchasing their clay mask ever since um, Welsh released his latest video on the brand I'm not a huge fan of glow recipe I know that's controversial and I know people love reading me for that I'm just not a big fan of the brand I think a lot of the price the price is too high for me and I think a lot of that price goes into the look of the product rather than the ingredients and they do also have a lot of fragrance in them which I don't mind fragrance in skincare but when you know a lot of people are promoting them as being fragrance free which they're just not however if I was going to choose from the if I was going to choose one product from Glow Recipe it probably would be um, that clay mask which I think would work well for my oily acne prone skin so I think you'll probably if you do want to try from them I would try that clay mask but do I think it's the best clay mask on the market no do I think it's a good option? If you want to try it, something from um, from the brand, absolutely. Uh, Star says, I absolutely love your personality. Thank you so, so much. That's so sweet. Thank you so, so much. Veronica says, looking for a good soothing mineral lip SPF. Oh, yeah, I like the Ultra Sun. Soothing, great SPF, tried, tested. Definitely, definitely, definitely would recommend the Ultra Sun. Um, Veronica's Pierce, new here. Thank you so, so much, Veronica, for joining. And to everyone that's joined this live stream for the first time, honestly, I'm sending you so much love. We do this every single Saturday and it's the highlight of my week honestly and we also do a midweek a cheeky midweek Facebook live on Wednesday so if you um Marlene's been leaving the links in the comments section so click on that join our Facebook group so we do a cheeky sneaky midweek live there as well but we do these big YouTube lives once every Saturday and honestly it is the highlight of my week I love it so so much so thank you so much for joining everybody um Adriana says uh for Adriana says um hey Robert watching you during my break at work sending you lots and lots of love and I hope work isn't too I'm glad that we can keep you company on your break and uh, Tamsin says I know about your lunch I'm on about where I jumped to you mentioning something about Xmas and now you oh okay Tamsin so yeah basically we launched with the normal products and then obviously got to think of some products to launch down the line and in time for Christmas we're going to do a we're going to launch an unset fragrance free cleansing balm but we're also going to do a special limited edition um, Christmas cleansing balm that smells of everything Christmas and amazing. So that's kind of what you missed. <laughs> um, DM13 says hashtag bum shot. Yeah, I think I might have just flashed the world, but that's fine. We don't mind that. We live for that I'm mad about skin. Um, Anastasia says, um, have you tried ultraviolet sunscreens? I have. I got them in the post for the first time the other day. Tried them for a couple of times. I like them. I don't like the price point, but I do like the formulations and we can't have it all in life. So I will be doing a review of them. Watch this space. Uh, Mark says, I can't wait for your line. I'm 47 with combination skin, prone to blackheads. Would all the three products in your line be suitable for me? I want the moisturizer that packs a greater punch at night. Actually, I do think, I, I, this is going to sound like a shameful plug, but I do think you'd be the perfect candidate because actually the moisturizer is not going to clog your skin, but it is a little bit more heavy duty than the average moisturizer. So I think it'll work really well for you. And obviously the serum's great for oily, acne, blemish prone skin as well i've tried it on my skin it's not broke me out been using it for the past two months and loving it so yeah i think you'd be a great candidate for it so yeah thanks matt for letting me do a shameful plug there <laughs> but i genuinely think i'll be honest with people if i don't think it'll work for their skin type because i want everyone to have the maximum benefit from it but i do think yours it will 21 says missed most of the live but i watch it on the rewatch <laughs> sending lots of love my love I, that was supposed to be like a hashtag to the replay crew but it didn't really work um, adele says the native spf 30 is so greasy on me i have to use a very mattifying product on top well, I've got super greasy skin, so I'll try it and I'll I'll share my thoughts and feelings. Veronica says, oh, every Saturday, cool. Thanks for answering all of our questions. It is so good to have you all here, guys. I, If I've missed any of your questions, I always say this, I've got time for a couple more questions. If I've missed your question at all, please just drop it in the comments section of the video and I'll get back to you straight away. Um, I answer all the comments in my videos or as much as many of them as I can. And I always prioritize those in live streams for questions. So promise me, promise you, you'll drop it there. We've still got five minutes. So I've got another three questions I'm gonna pull out and answer for you guys. But anything you've missed, you can catch on replay. If you haven't already, we are 
are 26 likes away from our all-time record. I don't think we're quite going to make it, but it's going to run it very close for a second, uh, for the second highest. So it's not too late to smash that like button if you like. Um, honestly, it means so much to me and it just helps YouTube know that the live stream has been good and then they push it out to more people for more people to watch it on replay. So if you haven't already, do a guy a favor and click that like button. So uh, Valerie says, can you use peptides with vitamin C? Um, you can, you've got to be careful because vitamin C can denature peptides. So I'd say, yes, you can use vitamin C derivative with any peptide, it's fine. If you're using a pure form, ascorbic acid or L-ascorbic acid, then um, obviously I would use a uh, buffer it with something like a hyaluronic acid in between. Um, oh, JH, is willow um, back a good exfoliator? It is. It's a precursor to um, salicylic acid, so it works very similar, but just more gentle. So I think it's great, especially if you've got sensitive skin and blackheads. It could be a great option. Tamsin says, you've tried the dermatology. Um, I'm really liking the vitamin C serum and the peptides one. I haven't tried it. I got that old formula sunscreen, which I liked, but then they reformulated. So I need to do a bit more research into dermatology and put some more of their products on order. Suzanne said, thank you so much for making every Saturday dream. Thank you, Suzanne. Uh, your company is so enjoyable. It's like going out with friends without having to leave my house. Well, honestly, Mel, that is what I wanted to create with these um, lives. So honestly, it means so, so much to me. And thank you so much for joining. You guys honestly make my Saturday every Saturday. Um, let's have a look. Lindsay said, do lots of brands send you products to review or try? Oh, Lindsay, that's a controversial question to end on, isn't it? Um, yeah, so lots of brands reach out. I don't, um, I never accept conditional like PR. So I think it's absolutely fine. If brands want to send products for me to try and share with you guys, I'm absolutely open to that. Um, I just never do it on a conditional basis. So some brands will just be like, can I send you these products to try, you know, see what you think. Absolutely, I'm fine with that. Brands are like, we can give you this in exchange for a video. I'm like, no, that's not how stuff works. And also I don't want, I don't do sponsorships because I don't want that whole like feel like I've been bought. So yeah, lots of do reach out, but I'm always a bit picky with who I accept because obviously I want it to be no obligations. But that's a great question. Um, <laughs> Tamsi says, right, I'm adding that cleanser to the uh, Christmas list too. Roll on the launch. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. And we ended with Gloria who says, have you heard of copper peptide uglies? Um, I haven't. I know some people have experienced some like the skin getting worse before it gets better with copper peptides. I don't personally know anyone that's experienced that. So it doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but I think it's a very rare side effect. Something you should be mindful of, but I don't think it's something that happens all the time. So I will say, uh, oh, we've got one more question sneaking right in at the end. So I missed the whole live, but hey, King Marcel, wherever you are, he's sleeping. Marcel has slept through the whole thing. You got a glimpse of Leo earlier. So definitely worth watching our replay for a glimpse of Leo, but Marcel has just slept through the whole thing. Sweet Tea says, so thank you for you and everyone here. It's a pleasure, my love. Honestly, you guys thank you so so much for the 176 people that are like this already thank you so much and um, that is the second busiest live that we've ever had in terms of the total number of people that have watched and liked so from the bottom of my heart thank you so so much if you've enjoyed what you've seen don't forget to click that subscribe button because we'd love to have you as part of the family this is available on replay so any bits that you've missed you can watch it right live on replay straight afterwards wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well and thank you so so much for spending your saturday with me take care Bye.